reasons to get a CNC, and a review of the I2R B24 unit I've got right here. So for the last six months or so, I have made hundreds of different projects. I have put the machine through the paces, uh, hardwood projects, doing some unique cutting board, uh, designs, trays, boards, all kinds of stuff. A lot of signs, a uh, great place to start with, you know, some, some V-carve, some raised lettering, all kinds of pieces, lots of different pieces. And so gonna show you all the reasons why. Uh, for those hesitant to get one, wondering if it's worth the investment, kind of explaining my reason why and why it works great for me as a hobbyist woodworker, as well as for, for others, uh, wherever you see yourself. But then also a review of this B24 unit. I do have timestamps, so if you wanna just jump ahead to the review, you can use those to skip on ahead. Uh, but this, this really is a comprehensive video, like most of my CNC videos, well, really all my videos, going through all of the different aspects Especially, you know, to be really thoughtful with a decision of, of such a, a big investment. And so uh, here you have it. Reasons to get a CNC and a review of the unit. Check it out. This video was sponsored by I2R, Imagination to Reality. So one of the biggest reasons to get a CNC and why I'm so glad I have one is efficiency. So efficiency, right? I can do something with traditional woodworking tools and I can do it, uh, but it would take a while and I can be so much more efficient. I can program it out and, and run it like these juice grooves on these cutting boards here you can see. I like to make a lot of cutting boards and the recipients and myself definitely love the juice groove. The juice groove just really helps the board uh, stand out. It's, it's just a huge part. However, to do it with a router can take some time. Uh, you can have tear out, all kinds of issues. Also with a CNC, you can do some unique juice grooves, some unique profiles. Uh, so this batch here, all of these juice grooves uh, were cut with a CNC. And so I did different sizes, uh, different patterns, different shapes. Uh, you can even do wells, uh, you can taper it and you know have some fluting, all kinds of possibilities, but it's just so much more efficient. Also when it comes to handled boards or a profile board or like this uh, charcuterie board, it's so much faster to just cut it on the CNC than to use templates and a router or a jigsaw, which I usually uh, have done in the past. And so this batch here, all but one, were cut on the CNC. So many more possibilities, but it is extremely efficient and you can produce uh, great results quicker. Another reason I love the CNC is the accuracy. So accuracy, obviously I can really dial in a project, uh, something that's super customized. I can get it precise measurements exactly, uh, you know, on the software, and then it runs it perfectly. Um, I can make a lot of things with traditional tools, and I've done that a lot. You can see that on my channel. Uh, for instance, I've made router trays, trays with templates, and I can get some pretty good results, but inevitably there's some tear outs, and maybe it's not perfectly even. So after I did that batch before I had the CNC, I did a batch with trays, and wow, what a difference. You can add in so many more elements, but it's just so much more accurate, and it's a higher quality product. So you can see, right here, uh, the, the tray process, so much more accurate. So on trays like this football helmet here, uh, where I have multiple different wells or parts, it's just super accurate. It goes exactly where it's at, uh, where I need to carve out the material. I don't have to worry about a template moving on me. I also don't have to worry about chip out or tear out. Uh, it's all programmed. As long as I got it locked in place, I can get amazing results. And so uh, with this batch of trays, Obviously, there's so many more possibilities, uh, a lot more possibilities of styles and designs uh, than you could find with templates, but it's just so much more accurate and uh, better results. Another thing, back to those cutting boards, is I could do really, really accurate uh, measurements. Here, this was a really precise, symmetrical juice groove board uh, where I added in a well, but I also did this fluting pattern where I had these little lines for juice groove that were shallow and then they went deeper. Accuracy. Another huge reason is customization. So customization is huge, right? I can get templates, I can print off designs, and sure, I can, I can do some customization with traditional tools, but being able to just quickly design, honestly, if it's a sign, you know, you're talking 10 minutes to design, quick, run it, you can make a custom sign in no time. Uh, it depends on the materials, obviously. So right here, you can see a lot of the different signs that I've made, different styles, so many possibilities, but you can really make some great custom artwork or custom signs, customization. 
So here I am just carving my logo. I can customize a logo, right? I can make a plaque. Uh, all kinds of possibilities. You just need an image file or you can design it in the software itself. Or maybe you wanna do a nameplate uh, for your family or a gift to someone else. These make great wedding gifts. You can have the family name, uh, have the special date, you know, the anniversary date. It can be really customized. Another project, this one, I needed a project for my school uh, as a teacher. This took me about 30 minutes to design and carve, painting a little bit longer, but super customized. Obviously, so many possibilities with signs. Here's just a couple of them, but definitely customization with signs. Another aspect of customization that's so huge is just being able to design something to fit a specific space. Obviously you can take measurements, you can mark it off, you can get pretty close, uh, but some projects it's just too hard to figure out how to do that with traditional tools. Uh, so recently I had a friend who wanted to replace his Airstream cutting board uh, inserts, little plastic cutting boards with some nice, you know, traditional woods, hardwoods. And so we were able to design it, figure it out in here, and we carved it on the machine and perfectly custom. So check this out, another aspect of customization. So for these cutting boards for the trailer, you needed that underside to kind of sit in the sink and not jostle back and forth. And it would just be too challenging to figure out how to do it with a router and get it precise so it's snug and it doesn't jostle around. And the CNC got it perfectly locked in. Uh, perfectly customized, got the underside, uh, the top, the handle hold or the finger hold. Produce great results, clean cuts, because uh, I can control the speeds, the depth, all of that. So no chip out with these beautiful boards. A super custom piece. Another thing I love about the CNC is time. Obviously, yes, it's, it's more efficient, right? And so I can do projects a lot faster than with traditional woodworking tools. However, for me, I'm a teacher, right? I still have a full-time job. This is a hobby. Uh, and so I also, I'm a dad. I have three kids that I want to spend time with. And so a lot of times, you know, to get shop time, uh, that, that's challenging. But I can still be doing projects with the CNC, quick design, fire it up. My kids actually want to be involved, but I can just go inside. You know, my, my shop is in my garage. I can just go inside, check on it every once in a while. So while I'm still, you know, with the family or busy or not feeling like a big involved project, I can still be a maker. I can still be making something. And so that's what I love, you know, just different seasons of life. Maybe you can't do the full blown project with all the traditional tools and the, the sound and, and all that kind of stuff. But that's another reason I love the CNC. One more reason is just it's the money, right? You can really make a lot of money with a CNC. Now, I know most of you probably aren't necessarily looking to do sales. I'm primarily a hobbyist and I'll do one craft show a year, but the machine, if you get a great design, if you wanna reproduce signs, uh, make them, you know, batch out a bunch of them, you can do so many things so quickly, a lot of different material options. And so uh, it's a great way to fund, you know, pay for the machine uh, over time or to fund the hobby further and add new new things, uh, whether it's craft shows or, or websites, but that's just a great, it's a great money maker uh, if you're looking to do something like that. So these frames here, these picture frames, these were actually a project I did with my students but you get the idea how you can mass produce something that you maybe wanna sell, uh, and maybe you wanna do frames. That could be something you can sell, but you can mass produce it on the CNC, or like these signs, the mountains are calling. This is great for me in the Pacific Northwest. These are great selling items I can mass produce. Another idea I did around the holiday season was using MDF, uh, paint, uh, I have a whole sign video on the whole process, but uh, just doing different signs and ornaments. And so I was able to fit a bunch of different pieces, a bunch of different designs uh, onto one sheet of MDF uh, with paint, did some a lot of variety and really affordable materials with MDF and paint. And look at all these signs I was able to pull off. So over a hundred signs, about a hundred ornaments. And these really add a lot to a booth. Uh, they really draw people in at craft shows, uh, quick selling items. So if you're in it for sales, this definitely complements your other wares. Uh, it's a great money maker. All right, my review on the I2R, what do I think? So I've been using this machine uh, for over six months. I have done so many different projects on it and I love it. I absolutely love it. Obviously, yes, you know, they did send it to me in exchange for, for content and all that, but I genuinely, I have zero issues with this machine. I love it. Um, so, so many different things I love about it. First up, the assembly. A lot of, uh, you know, hobbyists will get the kits and that always scared me off seeing all the different parts, all the different things 
things. The assembly for this thing, it took no time. You're up and running in no time. So quickly, just see right here, this is how quick the assembly went. Super simple. So first thing, you just take the router, the motor, and you just mount it. Just a couple of screws. Once that's on, you just lift it, pull off the plastic, and then you just lock it in place, right? Add some covers, and really, that's it for assembly. Uh, the thing is mostly assembled when it comes to you. Obviously, if you have a stand, uh, there's a couple more steps with that, but really, really easy, a beautiful machine, and then you're up and ready, uh, ready to go, but super easy assembly. So assembly was a breeze, right? And then the materials themselves are incredible. Um, the spoil board, it already comes with one inch thick uh, MDF spoil board. Uh, you got the, the channel locks here for, for clamping. It's already there. You don't have to go out and get that uh, like with other ones. It's really easy to clean it up, uh, get a clean pass. You might have some learning curves like I have here, but that's that's awesome, right? The, it's such a solid stand. The materials that it comes with, it's built to last, right? So this machine is is not just like, you know, you know, uh, intro uh, machine. It is an intro machine, but it's not basic. It's not gonna fall apart. I have made so much stuff uh, on this machine, so much runtime on it, and I've had no issues, no maintenance whatsoever. Obviously you are gonna have to, you know, lubricate things and you'll do some maintenance, you know, through the years. But unlike a lot of the other machines, there, there was nothing to it, right? It's just up and running, fire and go. And so it's a robust machine. It can handle a lot. There's a lot of options in different machines you want. Uh, this one is the B24. It says eight, it's the B24. Uh, lots of different options online. And you can you can talk to them. They'll, they'll help you decide on, on a better model uh, or the best model for you. But I just, I love the materials itself. It's solid, it's sturdy, and it's held up to a lot of use. Another thing I love about this unit, it is the size. Now I'm here in a in a two car garage. I kind of got half the bay. This was a big investment as far as space, uh, but I'm so glad I did it. They do have other units, right? With a smaller footprint, uh, but I'm really glad I have that. So if you're looking and, and interested, they have some other, you know, you can get this robust machine, maybe in a smaller foot, footprint, maybe two foot by three foot, two foot by two foot, or whatever size you're looking to get. However, I just, the power, I've just seen so many people, especially the maker community and woodworking community who got the hobby kits or those introductory ones looking to move up to this eventually. And they were just limited. They had these ideas and they wanted to do it, but they couldn't, you know, make it happen because their machine was underpowered or their machine just kept, you know, crapping out on them and having issues and so yeah it's it's just it's a really quality machine i love it burying the lead a little bit best reason customer service uh, so they offer lifetime free customer service uh, us based customer service uh, they're great to work with i had one little issue when i got started with with the limit switch it was it was my issue on something i had done they were able to figure it out solve it in no time they also offer onboarding sessions to help you get the software up and running. Uh, they offer, you know, you know, CNC 101. They offer so many things online to really help you feel confident uh, to use this machine. It really isn't that difficult. It is pretty intuitive, and there's so many videos online. Uh, however, they have those options uh, for for real humans to help guide you through the process as well. So that's such such an asset and a, a great reason to to go with this company with I2R. So if confidence is an issue as far as the software and the tech and you think it's just gonna to be too steep of a learning curve, YouTube is your friend, right? YouTube has so many great videos. Uh, I myself have put out four so far that really walk you through as a beginner CNC'er, uh, you know, with sign making videos, a couple of different ones with the materials to use, how to mask it, how to get that cool effect. In all of my videos, my CNC videos, I always do a software tutorial just because I want you to have all of it right there. You can skip around, find some different tips. But the software I use uh, that I got through I2R is Vectric, uh, and it's fantastic. It is so intuitive, so many possibilities, and they, uh, that company has so many videos as well uh, of how to do it. So there's a lot of great videos online. I watched a ton, learned a ton. Uh, so check out some of those videos I have. Link down below, you can check my channel. Um, I2R has a lot of great videos too and some good content. Uh, but then Vectric for the software is, is really, really easy. So I'm getting up and running. It, it doesn't take too much. Machine quick assembly uh, with this I, this is the I2R B24, uh, whatever you need to get. It's a quick assembly, 
robust machine, easy software, lots of resources online, great customer service. So um, if you enjoyed this video, and you want to see more content like this, uh, or maybe some traditional woodworking as well, uh, consider subscribing uh, if, if this added value to you. Uh, but yeah, uh, make sure you check out I2R, uh, see all their different uh, options. They have so many promotions and sales running. Check it out. They do have financing as well. Uh, if you're thinking about maybe an investment and you know doing some, some projects to sell to, to pay for the investment, but great machine. I, I can't wait for all that I do with it uh, in years and years to come. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you next time.